Hey, what's up everyone, and welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm VMeg, and first off, may I say Merry Christmas. It's a time for the holidays, and a time for family, and also snow. Since I am a Sonic channel, today I will be playing through my top 5 personal favorite Sonic Eye stages. So without further ado, let's begin. Alright guys, so the first stage on our list of 5 is actually Ice Cap Zone from Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Um, right now we are playing Ice Cap Zone through a mod known as Sonic 3 Air, which basically lets you play Sonic 3 and Knuckles in 60 FPS and with widescreen support. Now, according to this top 5 list, um, the reason that we have Ice Cap super low on the list is mainly for one reason, and that main reason being is that there is a lot of flaws to this level in general to me, and that's probably just why I'm not the biggest, hugest fan of it. But here's the thing. It still has some of the best music I have ever heard, and that's why I think it belongs on my top 5 list. For, you know, some of my favorite ice stages for this uh, Sonic franchise, May one of the main things I didn't like about this stage was literally just um, some things like, uh, the, for example, the uh, bounce things. You'll see what I mean right here. This thing. This thing right here. This is like the worst thing that's in the stage. Literally, if that wasn't in the stage, this would probably be like my favorite zone in Sonic 3. That's why right now it's Carnival Night. Act 1. Now, I know Jeremy or J-Dub is probably watching my video right now being like, VMAG, what the fuck? <laughs> and to that, I have to say, I'm sorry, man. Like, I love Ice Cap, you know that, but like... <sighs> I gotta make the tough decision to say that, uh, I actually am not the craziest fan over Ice Cap Zone. And I am sorry for that. There is no way that I couldn't put this stage on my top 5 list, as it is personally one of my favorite Ice Stages from any Sonic game. So, although, even if it's not highest on the list, uh, or the lowest on the list, you know, um, most definitely I can say that it definitely deserves to be on my top 5, as it's most definitely one of the best ice stages you will ever play from any Sonic game. You, what I hate right now is this part right here. Okay, not the penguin. I sh all right, so it's this. It's these things. They okay. I don't know why. Like I normally am doing fine, but most of the time, I swear I always like mess up these sections, and you have to restart the entire area all over again. And trust me, that gets annoying really quick. And the boss here, the boss is fine, it's, it just feels like an iced version of Metropolis Act 3, I think, boss from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And normally I just damage boost it, you know, nor normal stuff. I don't really do anything crazy with the boss here. I don't really need to either. Uh, I'm gonna grab a ring here so I don't get hurt again. So normally I just damage boost these bosses because I don't really care. And there we go, with that, that marks number 5 on our list of 5 for best Sonic Ice stages. Let's move to the next game. Okay guys, so, the next stage we have on our list of 5, for number 4 we have Sonic Lost World, and we have Frozen Factory. Personally, I know, obviously, Sonic Lost World is not the most highly respected game or anything like that jazz. <clears throat> wow, my voice just died there. <laughs> but normally, um, I actually don't mind this game. I think that the music here really complements the stage, and I love how we have kind of a wind, uh, snowy, windy hill from the first world, obviously, of this game. Now, I know, Sonic Lost World bad and all that jazz, but like, literally, I don't think it really is that bad. <laughs> People kind of over-exaggerate, in my opinion, a little bit. I think that Sonic Lost World definitely showed its potential, and that's why I'm really not the biggest hater of it. I don't think it's perfect. I'm far from it, honestly. But, you know, you have to really respect the potential that this game had, and you have to see that this game most definitely showed that it at least somewhat cared. It wasn't just a sloppy ripoff of anything. Alright, sorry for the quick edit there, guys. Um, I had to kind of concentrate there, because that section is really annoying. It's like the most annoying part of the stage, but other than that, the stage is relatively uh, fine. But um, what I mean is that this is one of the most important Christmases to me, because I literally have everything I could ever want already. I have the PC, I have the setup. Uh, I, what I'm getting for Christmas this year is an Elgato capture card, and then after that, we are good. We will be able to stream some really game, some games that I've known that you guys have been wanting to play, and that includes some games like Mario Galaxy, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and we can actually play some other things. The thing about an Elgato is you don't have to use it for one specific console. If you don't know what an Elgato is, it's a capture card, which is something that allows you to actually display the screen of a console that normally cannot be streamed by normal means. And this will allow you to do it in up high res quality. And this is perfect for things like streamers, 
and you know things like competitive smash players and stuff like that jazz there is like a specific direction i normally take here and i think it's up here actually sometimes i get lost in this stage but there we go okay i think we made some progress and that's the end of the stage but yeah like i said sonic lost world may not be the most respected game but it's definitely one of my personal favorites i guess you can say uh in my own opinion but anyways let's move to number three Alright guys, so for number 3, we have Ice Cap Zone, but from Sonic Adventure DX. Now, Sonic Adventure DX is definitely one of the most favorite games by multiple people I know. They love this game, and truthfully, I love this game too. I think that this is truthfully one of the best ice stages from any Sonic game. I think the level design here is amazing, and uh, you know how like some guys would normally be called a simp for liking a certain girl? Yeah, well, I, I think I can be called a simp for liking this game. I just like the stuff from the original game. But, you know, other than that, though, I can say that this is a very beautiful looking game. And that this stage is truthfully awesome. Now, this next section is probably one of the best things you will ever see. And yes, I did clip through that bridge right there, which is cool. But this section right here, this is one of the coolest things you will ever see. This is an entire snowboard section. I think this was supposed to be meant as like a nod to uh, Ice Cap Zone from Sonic 3. Like I showed earlier in the video. Where basically you're riding another snowboard and this just truthfully looks awesome. I cannot just describe how I felt as a kid the first time playing Sonic Adventure DX. And seeing Sonic ride a snowboard down a hill while an avalanche is following him. I was like... Dude, Sonic, what are you doing, man? Chill out. Now, uh, you know, the SA2 stems are gonna hate me for this, but this feels a lot better than the little board thing used in SA2 City Escape with uh, Sonic. I mean, truthfully, I just think SA1 is better than SA2, but that's just my personal opinion. Don't let the don't let the fans hear that one because uh, they're gonna, you know, kill me. But um, basically, I'm just overall a huge fan for Son SA1. I think Sonic is this is like peak 3D Sonic. Speaking like, let's say. 3D platforming wise because I do enjoy the boost uh, formula a lot, but I think this was peak Sonic uh, for 3D at least, 3, 3D platforming. This was de most definitely peak Sonic. Some people will say SA2 and trust me, I do respect your opinion, but please do the same for mine. I just prefer that SA1 is, I would say, the best version of 3D Sonic platforming, but trust me, I would definitely play the boost a lot more, and that's just because I found the boost a lot more fun for myself, but I think most people can agree this is peak 3D Sonic, and I kind of agree with it a little bit, but not too much, because I do have a little bit of a nod and a little bit of, like, bias towards the boost, uh, the boost formula. Uh, well, if we stop speaking about formulas, we can actually talk about how amazing this music sounds and how beautiful this game looks, even from the year it was made. It's just amazing, man. Other than that, I just want to say, SA1 is an amazing game. Please go play it if you haven't already. But with that, let's move to number two on the list. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we are going to be playing through Press Garden Zone Act 2. This is one of my favorite ice stages, for sure. Now, Sonic Mania, obviously, is, uh, I could say, one of the better Sonic games we've gotten recently through the years. And, you know, I think that's for good reason. This game is truly amazing. I don't think anyone can deny that. This is, in my, in my opinion, one of the best Sonic games we've ever had created. Um, hopefully one day we do get a Sonic Mania 2 or something along those lines, whatever they decide to call it. They may just straight up call it Sonic Mania 2. We would have to see. Um, you know, actually, there's a mod I turned on, which actually powers off the uh, super music, and I'm okay with that completely, because, dude, who would want to turn off this amazing music? Like, dude, if you do not like the Sonic Mania soundtrack, I think you should just... Do, um, what Billabob said in my Rush video, which is to just continue listening to it over and over until it sounds good, or something along those lines. I definitely actually wasn't expecting this as one of the zones, uh, like an ice zone, you know? I thought we were gonna get some, like, ice cap, but they were gonna bring back ice. But, you know, um, I don't think we have many Sonic 3 stages other than, like, Lava Reef, uh, Hydro City. We do get Angel Island back, which is cool. Um, I remember there was, like, back in the day when Sonic Mania first came out, there were people trying to use debug mode to see a little bit more of Angel Island, but you know, there wasn't that much, honestly. And then we got that full stage. Oh my god, that was amazing. Now the boss here, I'm not the biggest fan of the boss, but you know, I think it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and fight the uh, Ninja Green boss. I don't remember, I know he has a name. It starts like, it's like Shin, 
Shinobi, I think that's his name. I, I don't know. Something like that. I'd probably sound like an idiot <laughs> for not knowing the, the, this robot's name, specifically from the, uh, the hard-boiled heavies, I think that's what they call themselves. But, yeah. But with that, that's number two on our list. Most definitely a short stage, but definitely one of the better ones, I would say, in Sonic Mania. So, lastly, without further ado, let's move to number one on our list. Alright guys, so for number one on our list, if you couldn't already guess by me foreshadowing how much I love the boost formula, number one on our list is actually Cool Edge Day, or known as Holoska Day stage, from Sonic Unleashed or Sonic World Adventure. This is most definitely my favorite out of any Sonic game I stage. I think truthfully this has one of the best level designs for any Sonic stage, and um, truthfully it's actually, I'm not the biggest fan of ice stages normally, but I can say I will happily play this one anytime, I normally uh, miss there. Uh, the robots, but it's okay. We did okay there. And I cannot just emphasize how much I love this uh, stage. Like, I think here, this is peak level Sonic design. I think Sonic Unleashed has one of, one of the, if not the best, Sonic the level, uh, you know, Sonic level design. And uh, truthfully, truth be told, I love everything about this game. This game looks gorgeous. And this was made from where I'm recording this 12 years ago. So the fact that this looks better than some more of the recent games than, like, for example, Forces. This looks better than Forces, in my opinion. Say what you will. I agree with me and not agree with me. I just, I'm just saying. I think that, truthfully, this is one of the best Sonic games that you can ever play. So, trust me when I say how much I love this game. This was most definitely a game that I enjoyed playing all over again. This definitely... Is a game I actually grew up with too, so that's why I probably have a little bit of a bias, but hopefully those of you who know me personally would probably expect this to be my number one. And do I even need to talk about the music? Like, I'm just gonna be quiet for a second. See what I mean guys, the music here is amazing. I understand that Sonic may, may not feel perfect, control-wise maybe and stuff like that, but truthfully, I think that Sonic here controls not the worst, and not, you know, I think he's okay. Maybe I can agree with the button layout a little bit, but other than that, this game is literally perfection. Now, for those of you who were like, wear hog bat, you know what, I don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just my personal opinion. You know what, who cares, suck it up. Y'all stand SA2 and you still gotta play the treasure hunting stages and the mech stage, which may not be as bad, but you know what. You still gotta force to be able to play as other characters. Like, come on. To so those of you who are like, you know, like, oh, you have to be forced to play as another character. You know what? I'm just gonna use that same logic against you. But truthfully, this is my favorite Ice Stage from any Sonic game. And yeah, this is why this is number one on the list. So with that, we probably got like an A rank, knowing how unleashed it is. Yep. There you go. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe as it's always appreciated. Um, make sure to let me know in the comment section below if you are going to get anything special for Christmas as I am super interested to find out if any of you guys are going to do something special along those lines. But yeah, you guys have no idea how much it means to me how quickly we've grown this channel. We're already, we're already almost at like 3k or halfway to 3k, we're at 2.5k. We got like 2k four days ago from when I'm recording this. Uh, according to YouTube statistics, uh, only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed to my channel, so if you actually enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing as it's always appreciated. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and please have a very Merry Christmas.